This is the most fun I've ever had filming a movie, for sure. Without <laughs> a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. It felt it was like embarrassing how much fun we were having. Yeah. It, it, I mean, they it's I mean, I had to wear a lot of sunblock. That was the one downfall because I don't know if you can tell, but I am a pale human and uh, I mean, me too. Me too. I learned learned the hard sun, way. <laughs> I learned about sunscreen. Uh, I don't know why. But um yeah, it was fun. We I mean, they put us in paradise with a bunch of the funniest, most creative people in the world, and we just had a ball. It was so much fun. Mike and Dave are two brothers that are notorious for messing up family, uh, all family events. Uh, they just um, tend to take things too far. They have uh, gotten grandpa seriously injured at uh, family events. Um, but the Stangles are a large family and at any one of their events, Mike and Dave take it too far. So they're given an ultimatum by their their dad and their mom and their sister who's getting married that they must bring two nice girls to this wedding and that's it where they're not allowed to come and they take this as a personal insult like it's it's like a travesty like they can't believe that their family would do that to them so they make a committed effort to find two perfect girls to bring to this wedding and the only way to do that is to go to Craigslist and put out an ad to find two girls, which sends them on a mission um, of several crazy, crazy dates. Uh, and might I add, this is based on a true story. These guys are real. <laughs> so this really happened. And um, then you can take it from here they meet and that's where we're... uh they meet alice and tatiana and they are pretending to be good girls and they are really terrible chaotic um they're like mr magoo but um younger and more into sex so um they just sort of take the boys and the family for a ride I'm great at a wedding. Come on, oh, I'm yeah. I'm I'm a very well behaved individual. I feel like she's the epitome of somebody you want at your wedding. Although I did go to two weddings while we were filming this movie because two of my closest friends. Oh, like you just came from why? What are you filming? And I was like, this movie about um, how I ruin weddings. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Uh, that's not for <laughs> anyway. icebreaker. I think I'm decent. I like to I like to get the party started and you know have fun. One time, my best friend and uh, my one of my very close friends got married, and I was a groomsman. And uh, the bride's father, who's uh, awesome, an awesome guy, it turns out is a, is a big fan. Um, and he is such a sweetheart that during the his speech about the like his yeah. big dad yeah. speech uh he mentioned me like eight times no and i felt really bad because i was like in the back of the room and it's supposed to, it's her wedding night and so i would say i'm not good to bring to weddings <laughs> um but it was a, f a funny moment and um uh yeah we still keep in touch uh, her dad her, and I. her dad great yeah <laughs>
when we were filming it, the comedy was so over the top, and there is so much more that didn't make it into the film. Like, the bonus footage is going to be yeah. uh, out of this world. Um, that I did worry that, like, you were going to hate the characters by the end of it because they caused so much trouble. And the director, Jake Szymanski, really just found the balance of, like, insane humor and insane heightened situations and, you know, really tender moments where... Um, even though it seems like you shouldn't fall for the characters, particularly maybe like for Adam's character, yeah. like he just shows a little bit of vulnerability and you're like, oh, buddy, well now I'm, well now I'm, I'm rooting for you. It's kind of about how four, four very lost individuals, um, go to a wedding and kind of find themselves. And I really, that's what, you know, that's what's cool about weddings is they celebrate love. That's why everyone wants to go to a wedding, because they like to believe they're in the presence of true love. ...is a celebration of true love. It's actually sort of... Uh, like a very constructed situation where like everybody's supposed to behave a certain way and dress a certain way and you know it's like putting on a little play and you know like this person has to walk out after this person with and a everything bunch of people has to that be perfect have and never like acted. and when people put on these situations that are supposed to go off without a hitch like something always goes wrong it's like it's like opening a, a three michelin star restaurant and then and then <laughs> and hiring us hiring people to, and hiring to, actors, cook yeah, to cook the food it's uh, not gonna go great it's not gonna go great so there's always at weddings there's always something that goes wrong that's funny there's always some some sort of crazy stuff that happens and uh, so it, it's something that everyone can relate to and everyone's been in this position before but you're at a wedding and it's insanity and, and I really hope that people use this movie as a roadmap to a great wedding yes me too <laughs>